This is a $25.9 million newly constructed mega mansion high up in Beverly Hills. My name is Eric Conover and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one of a kind luxury listing. Now some stats on this home, it has five bedrooms, nine bathrooms, it's 12,000 square feet of interior living space, situated on a 0.4 acre lot, and it was created by J. Omar Design. Before we jump in, I wanna give a huge thanks to my good friend Adi Perez and Mauricio Mansigi at the agency for letting us be the very first ones to let you inside this incredible home. And with that, let's jump into this tour. Now starting here with the exterior of this home, this is a stunning example of high organic minimalism. This home is totally private. It. The materials of this home are that beautiful metal, cedar trim, and that beautiful white stucco. Now entering this home, privacy is the utmost important aspect. You have this 14 foot high angled privacy screen. Come on in. As you enter here, this is a beautiful water feature. You have these floating marble, essentially lily pads. You have this beautiful bonsai tree off to the corner here, this floating waterfall edge feature, this beautiful art piece, and behind me, you can see floor to ceiling glass. Let's actually head into the home now, passing through this oversized pane of glass on a swivel. Let's keep this shut for now, which leads us right into this great room with double height ceilings. But I wanna show you this first. So the walls are all automated. They all pocket in this way but look at these views in our outdoor space. You have prime views of Century City off into the distance. And the main thing about this house, we are in Beverly Hills. And as you look behind me, all you see is that lush greenery. Below my feet here, we have Ipe Wood. We have the 50 foot long infinity edge swimming pool with the hot tub built in. I mean, just look at this. I've seen a lot of nice houses, but this, it just has such a relaxing atmosphere. We're gonna head back inside for now and get this tour going off into this great room. So like I mentioned below us, under our feet, we have Cafe Le Marble throughout the entire house. Great room, double height ceilings, floating staircase here off to the left. This is a very cool feature. So this is that Cafe Le Marble going up the fireplace here. This is a dual side fireplace. If you get a tight shot of this, this was all laser etched in to this Cafe Le Marble, which has been sandblasted, giving it that beautiful texture. You're gonna head that way, I'm gonna head behind, and this fireplace actually divides the great room, if we head this way, to the home office. So this is the other side of that fireplace. This is your executive office moment. Floor to ceiling glass with those views of Century City off there in the distance. If we pop in here, this is your ensuite bathroom, all clad in Calcutta marble. I love how it continues with that element of the white with the matte black here on the faucet and the fixtures. So out of this bathroom into the home office, below us on our feet, we have wide plank, white oak flooring. Now if you follow me, out of the home office, we have a little closet storage space over here. This is your powder room for entertaining. This is one giant quartzite trough sink with the laser drained etched in here. Right off of the trough sink, we have this dividing element. This is actually white oak, which has been fumed to give it this ebony appearance. Heading out of this bathroom, we have some closet storage space here into the great room. Now we're gonna make our way into the wine tasting room. And now this was meant to have a full experience here. Behind me, we have the wet bar with the smoke glass running the entire length of the wall. Towards the back of the wine tasting room, you have the actual wine cellar. You have this beautiful glass wall dividing the space with black basalt on the wall. Then you have this ornate storage with all the wine bottles beautifully displayed. Leaving the wine tasting area, we have your formal dining space with seating for eight. Off to my left, this is actually the chef's kitchen, which we'll stop in in a bit. 
but heading into this main entry area, you can see the staircase here behind me. Something very unique is all the doors are floor to ceiling and they are all frameless, which is very luxurious. But heading behind me, this is the good stuff. This is the heart of the home. Here you have your chef's kitchen right off of your family room. This whole wall automates and pockets into this section of the wall here. I wanna break this down. This is actually sandblasted onyx, which mirrors itself. And this is actually rifted white oak, which has been ebonized. These are all hand cut, giving it that just nice texture. So the TV is actually hidden in the ceiling. So all the attention is on this book matched onyx, which at night, check this out, it is beautiful. But again, the TV pockets right out of the ceiling and it's all automated, all controlled, smart technology throughout the entire home. We're gonna make our way now to the chef's kitchen. This is actually now fumed eucalyptus dividing this section here, which I'll show in a second. Front and center, this is your island moment. And I love how it's divided again by this giant plank of eucalyptus. The outlets are all hidden. They pocket out from the island, then tuck right back in there. This is a leather finish. This is bronze vein of marble. And again, this is only found in Italy. Off of the main island to the corner here, this is almost like an offshoot of your pantry. All the cabinetry is docks, Spain. This is all reflective mirrored glass. So if you look, these open up for all of your display storage of your fine china, what have you. And this, I love this inset here with a Again, that leathered marble. You have your six burner cooktop. This is your induction. And I love how this is just inlaid here into this cabinetry. This is a freestanding faucet from the floor up to this oversized sink right off of the main chef's kitchen. If you follow me, this would be your prep kitchen slash pantry. You have the same theme with that leather marble. This connects back to your formal dining room space so you can serve your guests right here off of your essentially prep kitchen slash pantry. So let's head back now into the gourmet chef's kitchen and I wanna talk about all these fixtures here on the back wall. This is actually your refrigerator and there's no handle, there's barely even a seam. This is all just push and automated to open. And this also shuts automatically with just a touch. Front and center you have again your Miele suite, you have your oven, down below, additional ovens, warming drawers. Same thing on this side, dueled on the refrigerator and then more of that awesome Doc Spain cabinetry. The total cost for this whole kitchen, just above $1 million, and that's luxury. But we're now gonna make our way out to this spa area. Again, below us, this is Ipe Wood, very exotic. Here you have your raised sunbathing platform with the views of Century City. From the perspective behind me, you can really see the architecture of this home with that beautiful steel and that white stucco. But we're gonna head now off of this Ipe platform I like the landscaping as well. All the trees, you have your astroturf turf below us. This is actually a skylight which lets in tons of natural light to the lower level, which we'll see later in the tour. Here you have another sitting area. I wanna point this out. This is a retaining wall with that cafe au lait marble. I love just how they have the theme of all those tones throughout, even the lily pads here, cafe au lait marble, leading to your outdoor kitchen where you have your built-in grill, your whole sweet ice maker, dishwasher, the works. Off of your outdoor kitchen, I wanna point this out as we head up the stairs to your cabana. Look at the landscaping. You have all this long grass. You have lime trees and lemon trees. That's so California to have actual trees that produce fruit on your property. It's actually a gold mine. Like when you have a house, you could actually go out and pick a lemon. But this is your cabana. This is very reminiscent of the Mediterranean. You could feel like you're almost in Greece, enjoying the sun. This is a house for entertaining. You can have all your guests out here. And from up here, you can really get a nice look at your property with your infinity pool down below and the entire house. Heading back inside off of your cabana, the wall pockets in again, and this is very unique. This is your powder room. You can't smell this, but this is all cedar on the walls here paneling up. This is a built-in trough sink. There's not even a mirror in here if you notice. There's just the view of your property. I love the feeling in here. It just feels like a spa. We keep this shut. But now we're gonna head to the lower level. So here's the stairwell, which connects the main floor to the entertainment floor down the stairwell. Below our feet on the stairs, this is all wide plank white oak. Now this is technically your entertainment floor, but we have another guest bedroom off to the left with an ensuite bathroom. This is all Calcutta marble on the floors and the walls. And here you can see it's a very decent sized guest bedroom, built in closet, the works. But we're gonna head out of this guest bedroom, across the hallway, this is where it starts to get good. This is your 
home theater, soundproof, they have that Café Le Marble even here in the theater on the walls, keeping that theme throughout the entire space. Out of the theater, this would be your informal sitting area. The skylight is done to let light into your entertainment floor and your bar area. This is all Venetian plaster on the walls here with these unique light fixtures built right into that Venetian plaster. This is your bar. I love how you have the theme of those elongated trough drains throughout all the sinks in the home. This is the works. This has your dishwasher, ice maker, etc. On the other side, this again is that fumed eucalyptus here on the actual bar with right now seating for two in those stool seats. The focal point of this seating area is this mirrored Calcutta white marble with this gas fireplace to have these matching bookend pieces. Very exotic, also very expensive. Off of your informal sitting area, making your way forward, off to my right, this is your powder room on the lower entertainment floor. Floating vanity made out of that basalt. We have your Calcutta marble on the backsplash here with this full length mirror and even this cool port light fixture hanging from a cord down from the ceiling. Leaving the powder room across the hall, this is a feature that not many homes have. So entering on in, you'll see me in a second. Welcome to your 10 car garage. You can't even call this a garage. This is a car museum. But to really show this off, I wanna show you what this place looks like full of exotic sports cars. Ordinary garage. This is a climate controlled car showroom. Below us, we have polished concrete on the floors. Above us, these beautiful black steel beams. All the lighting is inlaid into the ceilings and inlaid into the floors, giving it that museum showroom quality. And now the garage door opens pretty uniquely. It actually slides rather than up and down horizontally into the wall, revealing your entryway motor court. Here we have that waterfall feature, which is actually your reflecting pond when you enter the property, draining down into these river rocks, all these etched grooves in here. This again is that Cafe Olay marble. And here your gate opens, pocketing right into this wall, bringing you right to street level with your private camera, keypad entry. Security is top of the line here at this home. And it's really from down here looking up where you get the perspective, all the beautiful materials. You have the white stucco, all that black steel, the glass, just all comes together so nicely. And here you really get a nice view of that. But we're gonna head back now into the garage and show you, well, you'll see this. Off the garage, back into the house. We're now heading down this hallway where we have this right here, this is actually that white oak with the etching in it. And here we have your hidden door, just nice and discreet. This is your laundry room. Here you have your top line LG signature washer and dryer, all nicely done with the eucalyptus here. And that quartzite on the countertop. Off to my left, you have your viewing glass area for your car showroom. And in front of me, this is your home fitness center. This has been currently staged as a Pilates studio, keeping with that minimal feeling. We have a skylight here, letting in natural light during the daytime. And then on this back wall here, this again is that cafe au lait, which has been etched now rather than smooth. Below us again, white oak on the floor. Now if we head back here up to the corner, through this frosted glass, this is the gym bathroom. And I wanna point this out. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in a home. This is a laser etched quote right into the sink. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in a world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Having that right after you bust your ass in the gym, you're washing your face right in your sink, that is powerful right there. There's another quote here on the second sink. So dual vanity, floating with the eucalyptus, quartzite on the countertop, mirror running the entire length. Again, that cafe au lait on the walls. l bench seating above us, you have your rainfall shower head. This awesome inlaid shelving with the LED light. And then you have your water closet off to the corner here. But we're gonna leave your gym bathroom now, essentially your spa, the home spa. And we're gonna take the elevator on up to the living quarters floor. Here at the top of the staircase off your landing, you have this catwalk framed on the left by the views of Century City. On the right, you have your front entryway courtyard with this floating glass railing. Towards the end of this hallway, 
You have your Junior Master Suite, very decent size, floor to ceiling glass, which opens up to this moment here, your private terrace with some of the best views that I've seen in Los Angeles. Just very serene, and this wraps all the way around to the front of the house. You've got this beautiful dune grass here adding to that ambiance. Here you have your street view, and then the views off to the distance. If we head back in, I love how open concept this all is. We have your ensuite bathroom here. Oversized soaking tub. You have that cafe lay marble again, which has now been textured on the walls and the floor. Floating vanity with the quartzite, laser cut drained, full length mirror with a sliding glass entry to your steam shower. Now leaving this bathroom, it connects on the inside. Through here, you have your walk-in closet. Leaving the junior master, we're gonna make our way back down this catwalk. You can see the lighting here, giving it such a warm feeling. The openness down looking upon your gray room. In front of me, this is an additional guest bedroom. Let's head on in here. You can just see how beautiful the light is. We are Western facing. Every single bedroom has outdoor space. This beautiful corner glass moment here opens to yet again another outdoor space with the dune grass, and here you have a view looking down of your courtyard with that beautiful water feature, really seeing the architecture of the home from the outside. Heading back on in, we have a full-size bed. We have your walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom. Leaving this guest bedroom, we're back into this staircase landing area. Off to my left, this stairwell leads up to the rooftop. We have your elevator here, and in front of me, this oversized white oak door on a pivot, which leads us in to the owner's wing, the owner's suite, here in this mega mansion. We have the king size bed off to the left with these awesome modern light fixtures. Right in front of us here, this is a freestanding marble gas fireplace framed on either side by windows. Just beautiful art piece front and center. Off to the left here, we have more of that cafe au lait marble in your wet bar here in the owner's suite. Above, again, that beautiful glass cabinetry, which is actually reflective. So looking at yourself, you can actually see your views while you're making your drink, while you're essentially doing anything facing this way with your back to the views, you got them right in your face. Down below, smoke eucalyptus built in mini fridge for those late night munchies. And now this, your view. Floor to ceiling glass wall, pockets in, opening up to your wraparound owner suite terrace. Looking down below, you can see your infinity pool, all the views of Century City off into the distance. We're gonna follow the path along this way. That beautiful white stucco. Again, this is the Ipe wood below us on our feet. And here's a nice little sitting moment where you have a view of your cabana, your property down below, behind me. Just take a look at this. All open concept. Your freestanding tub with this beautiful faucet. This is a cocoon freestanding faucet, which we also found down below in the kitchen. Here we have your steam shower. This has all been sandblasted. This is Calcutta marble with, I mean, you can't feel, but the effect of the sandblast gives it such a nice matte look to it. And this is the focal point of the primary suite, the owner's wing bathroom. You have these beautiful freestanding floating vanity mirrors. You have your actual vanity front and center with that smooth cafe au lait marble. Again, we saw this downstairs in the gym, the quotes etched in to this marble. The design of this is so beautiful. Again, on the flip side, we have another mirrored sink with the laser etching in here. Another quote which you can see. Then on the floors and the walls, we have that sandstone blasted Calcutta marble. Water closet off to the side, making your way back in. This is your owner's walk-in closet. All the walls are trimless floating walls for the entire space. But making your way out of the owner's walk-in closet back through the primary living space in the owner's wing. We're now gonna make our way off to the right. You could take the elevator if you wanted. We're gonna head up this staircase. Heading up the stairs, we have a skylight above, all the lights built into the side to illuminate the stairs, leading to our rooftop terrace moment. This is such a rare thing to have here in Beverly Hills, where you are above all the houses and you have unobstructed views of Century City on a clear day. You can see the ocean. Here we have a gas fireplace front and center with that white Calcutta marble. So I've shown you this entire house. We are now going to sit down with Adi, the listing agent, who's gonna talk more about the luxury market here in LA and give you more information about this specific newly constructed mega mansion here in Beverly Hills. B, thank you for letting us film your awesome new thank listing. Thank you for joining me. 
First question, what about this property in your mind speaks to you? What is the thing when you walk in here that just jumps out? So it's really hard uh, to put your finger on one item, especially in this house. But if I can, if I can point to one thing, it's that the privacy, the greenery around. Don't forget, we are five minutes away from Beverly Hills, and yet it's so green, private, and very quiet, like a resort. So how did you get into luxury real estate? Oh, the million dollar. Yes, question. the million dollar question. So, if I can, if I may say, uh, since I'm a kid, maybe 13, 14, I always had love for real estate. So when I came here to LA, um, right away, I found a few good friends that, that were very wealthy and they had these kind of houses. So I hang out with these kind of people. And then my good friends, which a lot of them also Israelis, they building these houses. So first I was their friend and then I got my license. And when I got my license, I said, okay, well, who is my clients? All of my friends. Wow. So I thought it's gonna be easy because you are my friend. You're not gonna give me the listing. Not that easy. And I'm not taking no for an answer. So slowly I start getting those listing. And this is why my niche is uh, developers. So mm -hmm. I would say about 80% of my business is investors and developers. I was a basketball player for 20, about 20 years. I, I played for the Israeli national team. So it was professional. Uh, and I think as a good athlete, you have great values. And then if, especially if you're successful and, and, and you have strong mind, and strong will, and if you implement that into business, any kind of business, this is why I think good athletes will make great business people. I think the most profound thing, so we met up before this and we chatted, I walked through the house, the, the most important thing you said was that you had such a clear crystal vision of what you wanted to accomplish. Oh, 100%. And I think with anything, like you said, business, real estate, anything, you have to have the vision. Like, why not, right? If you put that and you fight for it, I don't think a reason why you're gonna stop. This, this has to be the best advice uh, that we've heard on this channel from any agent yet. Yeah, I'm, uh, I ask know, agents, you know, what's the piece of advice that you could offer the viewers? But you, what you said right there is just that's it. Why not me? I want to thank you for the conversation and letting us film this property. If you are watching this and you know someone or you yourself is looking to purchase this property, all the information is down below in the description. Adi, again, thank you so much of course, my brother. for of the course. time and letting us film your property. And with that, I hope you guys are well, and we will see you in the next episode.